course, we will get to enjoy the next men's semi-final here. Oleg Kuznetskov against Ian Kjordan. And it will be the European bronze medalist, Oleg Kuznetskov, the 28-year-old. Well, he's a local of Moscow, and it's a big moment for him here. Well, a top-class semi-final. If you're just joining us, well, where have you been? Hope you've enjoyed the taekwondo that you have seen. This is the last of the semi-finals. And it will be Russia against Korea. European Senior Championship representing Russia. Well, Oleg Kuznetsov had a hard time here and indeed in the World Championships against Mohamed Cho of Great Britain, the British fighter on the way back from injury. But on his way into the semi-final here, Oleg Kuznetsov looking back to his best. The 28-year-old using his experience took that bronze medal in Kazan, which is about a couple of hours from Moscow. And there's a couple of big wins. That one against Sajid Mardani, a really impressive one. And an exhausting one against Korea as well. Well, Ian Kyodon, always calm and cool. Winner, of course, of the Grand Slam in China at the start of the year. And he's continued that with that win at the Asian Championships. He'll be fighting in the Asian Games as well. He fought in the World Cup Team Championships a couple of weeks ago in China, so he's been a busy boy. And we all know he loves a back kick. He's got that quality, he's got that timing. Can he find himself into the final? A couple of Grand Prix finals before. Made it through in London. And likewise in Rome. And it's been a straightforward passage through for the Korean. Kept it simple. But of course, the Koreans will have had a little conversation. Belimir Bergovic, the centre referee. I think it's extra points for the beard. And a few local fans giving some support here. And of course, Russia. Well, Oleg Kuznetsov, he fought against In young Yu from Korea in the previous round. So I'm sure the Koreans have had a chance to look at him closely to study him. Well, the crowd getting into this one here. <laughs> well, I have to say there's a young cheerleader down at the front with a flag, giving it plenty of support here. But Ian Kyodon, well, he's a man for the big occasion. He loves that back kick. He's got that timing. Uses his shoulders to fake well. Kuznetsov, much more defensive, of course. He's trying to fake and intimidate. Nice little skipping attempt there from the Korean with the front leg to start. Both men just getting their self used to the arena here. Nice push to the body from Min Kyo Don. Nothing doing on the scores. You can probably hear the lone singer in the stadium. Sadly, no one's joining in with her. I think that's a bit unfair. But who's going to hit the right note in this one? You need a man on song at the moment. In Kyodon just taking his time as he always does. A look at the concentration on Kuznetsov face there. Eyes wide, but not with delight yet. Nothing doing on the board. Halfway through the first round. Kyodon just taking his time as per usual. As the lead singer gets them going here in the basketball arena in Moscow, but it's not been basketball scores in this one. Slim pickings for both. Kuznetsov just jabbing out the front leg. Inkyodon jumps in with the punch. Short left on the inside. The judges liked it. I'm not sure the Russian did. 1-0. Half a minute and some change left in this one. Inkyodon gives a little nod to say, OK, come on. You have to come forward now. And we all know he's got the timing for that back kick. Twisting kick as well there. I'm not sure that should be allowed, but anyway. 20 seconds left in the first round. Kuznetsov 
Well, he's slightly the taller of the two, but it's not always an advantage, especially when you've got the footwork of Inkyud on there. Tries to make him miss it and make him pay. But both men will make the most of a one minute rest now. Not much to choose between them. But of course, they will be aware a spot in the final is available. Ivan Trajkovic will a top class performance from the Slovenian, acrobatic and athletic. And he found a way through. Well, as the towel waves from the coach, one lone singer giving it plenty, but Inko Don, great composure, and it is absolutely roasting hot in here, you can see the ice pack on the head, even in the commentary position, sweating away up here, so it's tough on the athletes, but made of tough stuff, Inko Don, I'm sure you're familiar with his backstory, coming back from having cancer, and making himself a champion again, so showing that fighting spirit when it really mattered, well, health is always more important than fitness, but he's fit for purpose at the moment. 1-0 to the good. But Oleg Kuznetsov, well, you know he'll have plenty to say about it in this one. Both men just shuffling towards each other. Change of stance from Kuznetsov. Can it be a change of momentum for the Russian? Doesn't look like it. Inkyodon's patience paying off. The punch is no real power on them. But kills the clock anyway. It's been slow and steady stuff from Kuznetsov. Hasn't got his distance right. There's the back kick that we spoke about on the way in. And Inkyodon shows that elusive ability to make you miss. The only thing with that punch, you leave a little space for the head kick. If Kuznetsov can find a way in, well, an old school block and step to the side there from being cured on. Well, a bit of a low block there. Don't know if it was too much of an intention behind it there from Kuznetsov. Despite the lack of intention, it will certainly sting nonetheless. Sore one for being cured on, but the gam jump will make it feel slightly better. 2-0. making it look easy on the way through here. Because Netsov tries with a chop kick, not too close. To the last minute here. Into Gamjom territory now, Inkyodon does well, controls the centre of the mat, takes another 10 seconds off the board, and starting to throw attacking back kicks now. Confidence high for the Korean, if not the score, because Netsov still well in this. Nice sidestep there sees it coming, because nets off, a whisker away. Half a minute to go in this one. Here in the second round, Maninko Don just happy to waste time here. Well, the crowd trying to get behind the home favourite. He's got one win against Korea today already in the quarterfinals. He's up against the A-team here in this, the semi-final. Ivan Trashkovic of Slovenia waiting for either man as they wait for the second round. But Inkyodon trying to stay cool under pressure. Decision making so important in this one. And what I've been most impressed with, I'm sure you have as well, it's match management, controlling the ring when he needs to, and killing the clock as well. Well, tough times for Oleg Kuznetsov. But tough times don't last, tough people do. Can he find a way back into this one? Coaching fighter, understanding what's required here. Last thoughts and prayers there for Kuznetsov on the way through. Well, who 
can find an answer here in the third round. There's still plenty of time left for Oleg Kuznetsov. Tries with the chop kick over the shoulder. Finds a space under the guard. Inko done thought about the big reverse turning kick there. He's got that in his books as well. So all tied up at two points all here. Good back kick from Inkyo Don. Well, I talked about it from the start. He gets the extra point, and that timing. Well, he stands at about six foot three. And he's got that. There it is again. Absolutely perfect textbook. And has a little wave to the referee to say, yep, put the points on the board. Inkyo Don is in the house and lands the shots there. Perfect stuff from the Korean. And Oleg Kuznetsov thought he was back in it. But to no avail. And this is the match management now of Inkyo Don. Sidestepping, blocking, and just eating away at the clock. Now, so much so that our cheerleader has stopped singing as well. The crowd has gone silent. But the referee has not. Gamjong given. Inkyo Don. Maybe a little bit too patient there for the referee's liking. It's this blocking and evading. It's a master class from the Korean. <laughs> Has a little look at his coach there to say both feet were not out. It's not a gam, John, by his definition. Had a signal to his coach to say, no, one foot was still in. And of course, the ring's supposed to replicate traffic lights green for go yellow of course to pause and red is danger but in the driving seat at the moment is the Korean we just about see over the shoulder of the referee there you make up your own mind because nets off understandably tired can he find something yeah Barbara Marion saying no Gam John given Gam John stands and this was the point of contention. One foot was indeed out. Good spot from the ref. Replay rejected. But you would fancy the Inkyo Don. Look at the, the ability to waste time just by standing there. It's old school Korean technique. Kills the distance and Kuznetsov found wanting. Nice push kick as well. Power plus poise from the Korean. And I'm really looking forward to that one. Ivan Trashkovich against Inkyo Don could be a good final. Because Nets are still trying to come forward. But can't find a way through. Nice reverse round the corner. Into the last seconds. The Gam Jump will make it 10 5. Because Nets are exhausted. And it'll be Inkyo Don into the final. Never really pushed too far there. Has a little fly look at the scoreboard. Makes good reading for him. Credit to Kuznetsov, but ultimate credit goes to Inkyo Don. Into the final. And it could be a really good one. It'll be Ivan Trashkovich of Slovenia. He's got that really good front leg skip in style. Inkyo Don has the back kick, so a clash of styles awaits in the men's heavyweight final. And awaiting our entertainment will it be Bradley Sindon of Great Britain made it through in that last second in the gold medal match. Can he go for it against the home favourite Alexei Denisenko? Could be a good one. Oh, here he is out. Big news, the Korean couldn't get it done. Matea Jelic will go against Lauren Williams. So two British fighters in the final, along with this man here. The textbook back kicks. And he's back in business and will be back shortly for the men's heavyweight final. Lots more to come.